different ways you can think about flow, like flowing within yourself and what you have to do during the day. When I'm in flow, I feel much calmer in myself. Everything goes much smoother and you can kind of just flow from one thing to the other without feeling stressed and anxious. Also, I think there's flow between people as well. So not just within yourself, but that flowing energy, especially when you have like a synergy with someone and you can feel like you're flowing easily in conversation and time just flows really easily and it's fun being together. And I have that with a lot of different people. The more positive you are, I think things flow so much more easily. I know when I'm very positive with people, then I get a much better flow as well. My favorite ones for flowing are really the spine mobility exercises. So anything that gets your spine to articulate. And I think part of that, it's not just that segmental movement through the spine, but also because the spine has, that's where all your nerves are. So if you can really get that mobility through the spine where all the nerves are flowing through, then that can help create a sense of ease within the body and the flow because the nerves aren't kind of at end, they're kind of being released as you're flowing through the spine. When you're starting with an exercise and then you start to flow from that exercise with different variations and then flowing from that move into a new move or a new exercise, so finding the flow of warming the body up, getting it moving so by the end of the session you're doing more dynamic, more challenging exercises so that they're really starting to kind of find that flow, which I think is especially important. Um, for older clients or as we age, we want to have a long warm up in a way, but then by the end, it's kind of like you start to kind of flow back to the point when you're feeling much more youthful with how you're moving and how you're feeling within your body, too.